Okay, try not to mind the heinous lighting at the moment. I actually opened my bedroom window, which I'd never really do. Bug is thrilled to have found a new spot. The light in this room is all overhead, so unless I'm like laying down, you can't really see me. Do you remember when Jenna Marbles made a living room for her dogs and it was like underneath her stairs? Well, I don't have that. When I moved into this place, well actually when I was touring this place, I noticed a very random little storage area in the back of the closet. We're not gonna talk about the fact that I did have to move all of these things out of the front of my closet in order to even be able to show you this space. Like, all of that stuff was not in the storage space, okay? Somehow it was in here, which really makes no- is this light broken? <gasps> that would break right before this. Behind this very little and see-through curtain that the rod is literally side- like, okay. Behind this is this little random crawl space. I don't know, when I found this place, I was like, wouldn't it be so cute and cozy if I made that into like a little nook, you know? A little cozy spot where I go when I'm- like an anxiety room, you know? I could have done that, yes, but also like, maybe if I had no clothing. I honestly haven't even looked in there in probably a year. Maybe some like decorations. I don't really know what's in there, but I do need to remove it in order to do this project. She's so happy that I finally opened this window. Why have you been depriving me of this for so long? We have technology, SpongeBob. I'm gonna use my flashlight. Da da da! You know what's funny is that <laughs> That is a shrimp pillow and a piece of bread and a piece of lettuce. This was from when I had my other TikTok account that got taken down. Oh, this is also a cheese blanket. I actually originally ordered this because it said it was a, like an animal bed. I mean, I guess it could be, but it's just a piece of bread. It's just not that comfy. We gotta get this shit out of here. I can make a whole ass sandwich. Oh, the onion. Bag of something. Oh, and there's another bag in there. Oh my God, I forgot about that bag. What is in the, oh my, guys. Okay, um, there's a lot of things in here that we're just gonna keep there. Oh, this thing's on wheels. Okay, this is like costumey stuff. Got my Cindy Lou Who wig, another wig, more human hair wigs that I treated like- There's literally a leaf in that. That's from last Halloween when I- <laughs> You know what? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I fully just trapped myself in here. Oh my god gosh tree lights okay well i mean it's good that i did the oh jazz shoes all right well i'm so anemic right now i almost just passed out yeah so now that that's empty i was gonna measure it but um it'll be satisfying once this is over don't worry you won't see this at all it'll be a cute little cozy area which, let me show you it by the way just a little hobbit hole with a fucking fire sprinkler. So we're gonna make it into a living room for Bug. I would say it is four by four area, except for that it's sloped up here, which is why it's not even great for storage. Cause yeah, so this is uh, before. And I already know a lot of what I wanna get to fill the space for Bug. Um, she does already have a tent upstairs, but that's upstairs and she camps in the living room, in my living room. This is gonna be her living room, you know? Okay, it's already looking so good. <laughs> Mounted the guitar, the carpet. I also think it has been like five days since I've filmed before, but I went and got stuff that night. And then I think the next night I went to Home Goods and was looking for like a couch or a bed and I couldn't find one. And so I might just do the idea that I had initially, which was to get this Ikea doll bed. I want it to be a couch though, cause I want this to be like a living room, you know? I'm like taking this way more seriously than I've ever taken my own interior design. But I have a bunch of cool like miniature things. I'm gonna wait to show you till it's all done. But just a little update on the renovation, you know. Architectural Digest, if you wanna, you know. Yeah? Are you excited about your new- <laughs> I'm bad. You haven't been in there yet, have you? Ugh, I wanna show you all the little things that I have, but I think we should wait. You should wait and just have a grand reveal. Okay, let me just show you one thing, because I thought I was pretty clever. I saw this, not even like thinking about- the heck was that? Not even thinking about like what it actually probably was and I was like, oh, that's a trash can for my cat. I'm realizing it's probably like a pencil holder, but it's also literally the perfect size and look for a trash can for her. 
I went to Michael's last night because I saw online they had this like miniature wooden dresser and I was like that's perfect I didn't realize the dimensions it was like this big which honestly fits that space well but like if it's supposed to be relative to the size of her it would be smaller than her and my dresser is way bigger than me I got like some wood slats and then I found something really random that is going to be the decor I forgot that I was supposed to be surprised like saving this for a surprise I just can't help it I want you to be part of the process God I can't open this. Okay, my ceiling is leaking upstairs because it's pouring. I can't open this wood slat. And I still don't have a couch or a bed. I could make one. I just would have needed to get more wood. And yes, like I am balancing you on my UGG shoebox right now. And like, yeah, I could cover it and use it as like a couch or a bed. But that, first of all, I think that would be very comfy. But also, no, the point of this is like... This is livable, okay? This is functional. Why do you think I got her a mini composition book, okay? This is real shit. I don't know, I don't actually know what I, what. Very interesting modern table situation. Okay, but then the tray is way too. You know what? Maybe I should just make the table. I should just order the Ikea bed, should I? It would honestly be more expensive to buy more wood slats and make it. Okay, Bug, are you ready to see your new room? Are you ready to see your living room? Yeah. My craftsmanship is just out of this world. This is a scratching board that I ended up putting an eye on because it looked kind of creepy if I put both of the eyes. I was going to put them like up here, but I kind of, I don't know, it just seemed like a lot. And then of course the neon peach. But I mean, what a freaking cute little room. Go see your room. This clip is giving me like Christmas morning when you walk downstairs and see all the presents. Well, in my family, it was like you go from youngest to oldest. And my parents like put up a sheet around our living room. And then we all walked in. And Santa always left out like one big present for all of us. And the rest were wrapped. And like the whole room was filled with presents. So it's really not like that at all. But it is giving me that vibe because of how she's like slowly going into it. And she's like so excited. I think I just want my cat to be my human child. What do you think? What do you think about it? You can lay on your bed. Look at this nice big flat screen TV. This is for you. This is your room. Do you like it? Do you love your new room? Do you love it? There's so much to look at. What's up here? You can go up there. No, no, wait. Stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love your room? I think she loves it. She's watching TV. Oh my gosh. It's so cute how everything looks like it's just her size. Oh my gosh, I can't. Oh, she's comfy cozy.
Looking at the posters of random Vogue cat with abs. Well, actually, I put the Vogue logo there, but I found that cat photo online. Mona Lisa. She's a Libra, like her mama. She's got the one-line art, like I do, all over my house. She has a mini diffuser, color-changing light, twinkle lights. I mean, she has literally everything. Do you love it? I'm so happy you love it. <laughs> I'm so happy you love it. Are you gonna be in here all the time now? Yeah. I mean, you're like a teenager now, I think, in cat years, so... The only time you get your own private room, right? Yeah. This is your cat cave. This is Bugs Bungalow. This is Bubby's bungalow. Yeah. Well, you guys, I hope you... <gasps> Don't bite, Mommy. Don't bite, Mom. Ow! Okay. You want me to leave? Okay. I'm sorry. I'll get out of your space. I'm sorry. I'll get out. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed me turning the random storage space in my closet into a tiny living room for my cat. Though, it does have a bed, so it's more of like... It's kind of more like a studio apartment. I did get some other things that I didn't end up using because they just were too small. I was going to put, like, strip lights under her bed. Decided that's a little fucking extra. Didn't need the mini whisk. I ended up painting these, but but I didn't use them for anything. And then I got all these mini pots and pans <laughs> and a tea set. The pots and pans don't make sense because there's no kitchen. But if this is the teapot, there's a hair stuck to it, sick. Then it doesn't really make sense that she has like a mini, well, it's not mini to her, a red solo cup. TV is loud. So I'll definitely keep you updated on like Instagram and Snapchat constantly. I'm sure she'll be in here and I'll be taking cute ass little videos and photos of her. So follow me mm, everywhere. All my links are below. Also subscribe to my channel because the vast majority of my views are from people that are not subscribed fucking subscribe i'm happy with how this turned out maybe i shouldn't show the meow wanna you know it's not legal in every state yet bye no way stay there